Leishmaniasis is a disease caused by a group of protozoan parasites called Leishmania. There are over 20 different species that can infect humans. Across the world, there are about 1.3 million new cases of Leishmaniasis every year, causing about 20 to 30,000 deaths. It affects some of the poorest countries in the world. The Leishmania parasite is transmitted to humans through a bite of an infected female sandfly. There are over 90 species of sandflies known to transmit Leishmania parasites. Sandflies can get infected when they bite a person or animal infected with Leishmania. There are many animal species that can carry the parasite, including rodents, dogs, and foxes. Very uncommonly, Leishmaniasis can be passed from person to person through blood transfusions, infected needles and syringes, or congenitally from mother to baby. Not everyone who gets infected by Leishmania parasites develop the disease, and people can be infected with Leishmania without showing any clinical signs or symptoms. There are three different clinical types of Leishmaniasis, cutaneous, visceral, and mucosal. Cutaneous leishmaniasis is the most common type and is characterized by sores on the skin. These sores usually develop within a week or up to a few months after the bite of the sandfly. People can develop one or multiple sores on the skin that can look like a bump, nodule, or an ulcer. People may also have swollen glands near the sores. The sore can lead to scarring or secondary infections. Visceral leishmaniasis, also known as Kala Azar, is the more severe form of the disease. It can develop from 10 days and even up to years after the bite of an infected sandfly. It affects the internal organs, usually the spleen, liver, and bone marrow. People typically present with episodes of fever, weight loss, anemia, and enlargement of the spleen and the liver. Mucosal leishmaniasis is a less common form. It can lead to partial or complete destruction of mucous membranes in the nose, throat, or mouth. It can sometimes occur as a consequence of cutaneous leishmaniasis. The disease can be diagnosed by performing blood tests that look for antibodies against the parasite or by urine testing. PCR tests can identify the parasite based on its genetic fingerprint. The best test is identifying the parasite through a microscope. There are many different types of medication available to treat the diseases. Which one to use will depend on the person, type of disease, and severity. So how is leishmaniasis prevented? Well, there are several different ways. The best way to prevent leishmaniasis is to avoid being bitten by sandflies. This can be done by using insect repellents, insecticide-treated bed nets, wearing appropriate clothing that covers skin, and avoiding outdoor activities during times when sandflies are more active, which is usually between dusk and dawn. Screens are useful, but because the sandfly is smaller than a mosquito, they may be able to get through small holes. Early diagnosis and treatment can prevent complications and reduce the burden of disease in the community. Various vector control programs have been implemented in several countries to eliminate the reservoir of the disease. There is currently no vaccine to prevent against this disease. For more information, have a look at the websites below.